Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload, which is every single Monday like clockwork. In today's video, I'm actually going to show you how I got this look using the Star Artistry Galactic Astronomy Palette and give you my first impressions. Now, this was sent to me in PR, but you guys already know. Definitely going to keep it 100% real with you guys because just because it's free doesn't mean I'm going to like it. And that's how we roll on this channel. Okay? So if you want to see how I got this look using this palette, keep on watching. Alright guys, so here it is. This is the Star Artistry Galactic Astronomy Palette. It is vegan and cruelty free. And it's really cute. This was sent to me in PR, but you guys already know that means nothing for my review and my first impressions. Um, so here's what the shadows look like. They're gorgeous. The only thing that I would have liked for this palette is for this blue down here, Electra. Yeah. I wish it was a matte and not a shimmer. Wow, I just dug it. We're gonna forget that. I just wish it was a matte and not a shimmer. Now they have, I believe it's like half and half mattes and shimmers. I just, I don't know. I just really wish that blue was a matte. So it does have a little nice mirror. Nothing too crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. Eyelids already primed, you guys already know. I use my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand. Now, I also received the Luminaire Brow Glaze from this palette in the shade Star, which is similar to my Dark Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I tried it, I didn't like it. It's, for me, it's not as easy to work with. It's a little more on the oily side for me, and I feel like it just started getting matted like in the beginning of my brows and it wasn't as easy to work with and it's not as pigmented as my dip brow by Anastasia so I'm definitely not going to be using this probably gift this but I really wanted this to work this is $15 and I was like damn I could save four dollars Anastasia is 19 it's not wasn't it wasn't it all right I think just to start I want to get into this pink matte Stella Nova right there i'm gonna try that one out i'm gonna go in with my blender brush this is a 225 and i'm just gonna go right into that Nova. it's like a soft pink just want to coat my brush already this kick up in the pan hopefully that means it's pigmented oh oh it's pretty it reminds me of the pink from the warrior 2 palette by juvia's place I'm just gonna use this as my transition. Now it's blending nicely, doesn't feel chalky or anything. That's always a good sign. If you guys can see the burn on my hand, let it go. I was being greedy, grabbing shit from the oven with no anything, just my hand. Now I do like this pink, can you guys see that? It's not, it literally just reminds me of the same pink from that Warrior 2 palette. Two or three, whatever it is. I think I think it's a Warrior 3. Now, it doesn't really have too many mattes for me to work with. I am just going to, I don't know, we're weighing it as always. But this pink, I don't know, it's really pretty and it builds up so nicely. Now, I'm going to go into my Petite Crease Brush. This is my 231 by Zoeva. I think I'm going to go into OR Transit. That's this orange right here. So, I'm just going to dip this right into that OR Transit. Oh. Now, if you saw my light candy video, hopefully this orange is pigmented. I love a good orange. I don't want to have to go into another palette. I don't. That one was, the orange was okay. It was the yellow that was like, whew. No. I'm going to pop that in the crease. Okay. I like that. Yeah, good idea. I feel like I haven't done like a really colorful look in a long time. So this is making me very happy. I really like how this looks. I am going to start to be more consistent with my light candy uploads. It was really just on hold because of this quarantine. I couldn't get the things that I um, needed. Um, but quarantine is lifting. Does that mean I'm going outside? Mm -mm. Nope, not going to catch me. I'll let the first batch go. See if it's okay. Peek a little bit, but I'm not doing it. I don't know. So just looking at the palette, you can get some looks out of it. You can get like... 
you can you can probably get like an everyday look we do have this ozone shade which is this like pale tan i don't even know how to describe it there's this jukebox which is like a burnt orange dark well yeah it's like a brown kind of I don't know how I feel about that one. And then this Galactic Milky Way down here, which is just a brown. I felt like two of those browns are not needed. Maybe if we just had one, would have been okay. Could have been like another color, just for the theme. But so far, things are looking really nice. I'm just gonna go back into my 225, into that Stella Nova, just a little bit, just to go back in and blend that together. So I'm pretty much done here. I like how it looks. I think I'm going to stay on the pink and orange theme just because the other colors are like the only other matte that I could use like for a colorful look is this green and I'm not really feeling it too much because I feel like just how I started it's not going to really go unless I try to put it on the lower lash line or something. I'm not really sure how I'm going to incorporate any green but I feel like this is like whew, it's so pretty right now. And we're gonna keep on going. But I think I'm just gonna take this. It's a little tapered. It's a little messy too, honestly. Just a Morphe brush. This has no name. It was in a set somewhere. And I'm gonna go into this shade Fireball, which is this. Like hot Cheeto orange right here. And I'm gonna use it on the outer corner. Oh, I probably should use a different brush because this is gonna get a little messy. Okay, I'll try it out with this brush first. If I don't like it, we switch it. And that's that. Don't really like it, we switch it. I'm just gonna pick up my Morphe E36. Okay, I'm gonna drop it first and then I'm gonna pick it back up. Okay, dip it low, pick it up slow, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, here we go. I'm just gonna coat the brush and I'm just gonna take it. Oh, you know what? It's cool. I think I'm gonna mix it with this jukebox this brown just because i want it a little deeper so i'm just gonna mix these two just like that oh it's giving me like fireball now it looks from now i feel like it looks like a fireball not like that shade which is just orange but yeah i'm going to this dark brown that's the galactic milky way right here I feel like it's not really showing. So like I'm only using this Galactic Milky Way shade. Do you guys, can you guys even see it? Like I feel like it's barely there. I know I'm mixing it, but like I'm expecting to see something. I'm just gonna go back into that fireball shade. All right, so here's where we are. Here's where we're at. This brown wasn't it. So if you can see here, you can see it a little, but literally more so where there's concealer and no other shadows. It doesn't blend well with the other shadows. So that fireball, it, it, was, it just wasn't doing anything. So it gives me like a little bit of depth, barely, but that's, I'm assuming that's all I'm gonna get from this because it's doing nothing so really i don't know why it's in the palette it's not it's just not doing anything it's getting lost and it's annoying because i was building up for a little while and it was it just it just wasn't doing anything it didn't mix well um when i tried to mix it with the fireball just together on the brush it didn't mix so when i used it alone and then try to blend it out it just wasn't working and i'm not happy with that but um the look still it's still okay i'm just gonna go ahead cut the crease probably put um liner in my waterline and come back and we're going to finish up the lip off camera i did go ahead cut the crease i also put in my waterline this la girl shockwave eyeliner this is an i gotcha so just a little pop of color i felt like it was needed i did go ahead and Pretty much finished up this eye. Now I wanna say that that brown, that Galactic Milky Way, is not it. This here, it's, it's just not doing it for me. But we're gonna continue on the lid. 
I'm gonna take my flat brush that I always use for any shimmers, any glitters. This is this is it. I don't use any glitter primer. It really wasn't needed and this color really shocked me. So I'm actually gonna go in with this shade Pinwheel right here. And it's very, very pretty. It's very similar to the Stella Nova um, pink. I'm just gonna go ahead right into it. It doesn't really even take much. Can you see that? That's what I'm talking about. So maybe the shimmers perform a little better than the mattes. I'm not even gonna say all the mattes. It's just that brown, that Galactic Milky Way that I'm really not feeling. But this shimmer is really, really pretty. As you can see, it doesn't really even take much. Which is what I like, because who has time to keep going back and forth? Not me. Just wanna put a little bit more on this side. I really like this shimmer. Next, I'm just gonna go back in with my 231. This is my petite crease brush. I'm gonna go right into Fireball with it. Again, that's this like hot Cheeto orange right here. I don't even eat hot Cheetos. I mean, if it's there, I'll eat it, but like, not how everybody goes crazy over them. And I'm just gonna pop that right in the crease just to blend that out. And so, for the most part, these shadows do blend nice together, except for that Galactic Milky Way shade. Um, and I really haven't had too much fallout. It's really not that bad. So that's a plus. Um, I didn't mention, but this palette is $34. A little on, it's approaching the pricey side. It's not too bad. I just feel like for the shade range and the color story, I don't know if I would want to spend the $34 on it. But that's just me. And it's, it's really not bad. It's just that some of the... It's, some of the looks that you're gonna have to create are probably going to be on the more, I don't even, I can't even say it's really that colorful because it's not. Anyways, moving on, I'm gonna take my 225. This is my eye blender brush, put it back in that Stella Nova, the Stella Nova here. And I'm just gonna go back in and just blend it out. I, know, I think the eye look is cute. I just wish I had like a deeper, shade to really do the outer corner. I don't have that and I was not touching that green. It, no, no. So now I'm gonna show you what I mean when I say that that brown, that Galactic Milky Way was not doing it. I'm just gonna go back in with my E36 by Morphe and I'm literally just only going to take some of that Galactic Milky Way. It's like, it's just not really doing much. And I'm just gonna mix it now with that fireball because I don't want it to be like brown. I don't know. It, it just wasn't, it wasn't doing it for me. Like if, if I lift up my eyebrow, you can see here, it's just, it's there, but it's not really blending in nicely. That's what's kind of like throwing me off. It's either it's just gonna like stick to where you put it, kind of, even that it's not really doing or it's gonna blend out into nothing. Which, I don't know which is worse, to be honest. But, that's fine. I mean, it's cool. I just don't want it to be too brown. I just really needed it for some depth. I wish it would've just, it would've blended better. But it doesn't look horrible, I don't think. And trust me, once you put on lashes, nobody's even gonna notice it. So, that's pretty much it. For right now, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put on my base, come back, we can do the waterline. Because I think I want, I think I want some more green there. I think so. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead, clean my face, be right back. All right, so my base is down, have my foundation, concealer, and I did lay down some banana powder by Makeup Revolution. I think for the lower lash line, I'm actually going to use my 226, and this is my Smudger Brush by Zoeva. I think to start, I'm actually gonna go into this green because why not? And that's called Cosmo. Let's see how it works. Oh, it's green, green, like green. All right, I'm actually gonna use this more towards the inner corner. Wow, I didn't expect it to be <laughs> so green. Whoa, okay, so. I'm actually gonna stop there. Wow, this green is pigmented. Wow, this green is uh, bold. All right, I didn't expect that green to be so uh, pigmented. I'm gonna go in with my color switch um, from Ulta. I'm just gonna clean up that brush because I'm not using another brush. No, 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 no. 
I'm going to try to go into that Galactic Milky Way shade. That's this brown here. And I'm gonna use that for in the middle to the outer corner, just to blend that out. This shade is just so, as you can see, even just using it by itself, it's not that, it's not that great. I think that's all I can say about it is that it's not that great. All right, so that's it for the eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead, finish up off camera, show you the final look, and do some with this hair. <laughs> Be right back. All right, guys, this is the final look. As you can see, lashes are in the style Angel by Pretty Mink Beauty. You guys already know. Always, always, always. Link down below. You can always use code India15 for 15% of your order. If you do want to try out these lashes or any other styles that they have, they also have a lash book, which I'm excited to get. Maybe I'll get it and show you guys, but there are some, those are some big blinks. <laughs> okay, the big blinks. On the lip, it's one of my favorite combos, just the little twist, just to match the eye look a little bit more. I did use my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Aria. I tapped out my Dose of Colors Liquid Lip in Nude Moon and just a little bit in the center. I did use my NYX Liquid Suede in Life's a Beach, just right in the center, not too much. So this uh, made for a pretty look. I do feel like um, that Life's a Beach shade in the center definitely complements the lids and it just looks so well together. Now let me tell you about this palette. Okay, this is my first time using the Star Archery palette. This is the Galactic Astronomy palette. It is $34. Again, it's a little bit pricey, but the shades are really beautiful. Now, the only shade that I did have a problem with was this Galactic Milky Way. This brown here, wasn't feeling it. It didn't blend out well with the other shades, and the rest of them did blend out really, really nicely. This Pinwheel Shimmer really surprised me. It looks really, really good on the lid. And this green Cosmo is super pigmented. Now, it's so pigmented that it stained my brush. I'm not really happy about that, but I'm all for the pigment, okay? Now, I do like how the shadows blended out nicely together. I don't know how many different looks that you can get out of this palette. You can get a wearable look, but I'm not sure how wearable it's going to be. Um, I did say at the beginning of this video that you can definitely get a wearable look because of the browns in here, even though I feel like you'd only use one brown. And after using this Galactic Milk Way, it could go. It can. But you can definitely get a wearable look with this palette. How many wearable looks? Two, probably. You can get some colorful looks, but you're gonna have to be really creative in my opinion because I just feel like this blue shimmer Electra should have been a matte and it would have been perfect to be up minus this th nah. and it would be perfect but I really did enjoy using this palette and I did get it in PR which does not mean I was gonna give it a good review or I would not be talking much shit about that stupid ass brown it's done on my eyes as you have noticed I do have these party green contact they're from i boutique i'm gonna leave them down below this was also sent to me in pr and i felt like because i added the green it definitely brings out the look a little bit more now i don't usually wear color contacts because i'm blind and i need prescription but just for the sake of this look and sake of this video i definitely did just pop them on so if you like this video make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button once you subscribe Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload, which is every single Monday like clockwork. Go ahead, follow me on Instagram where you can see more of this look and other looks that I create. If you see a look on Instagram that I do not have a tutorial for, make sure you go ahead, leave a comment down below. Leave a comment on Instagram or definitely just DM me, drop it in the community tab. However you can reach me, call me, beat me, let me know and I definitely get that out for you. Thanks so much for watching guys, until next time.